Hi everyone. So pause. New nails. What do you guys think? These are like my Valentine's Day nails. Alright. So this video is long overdue guys. These are my reviews from my Christmas advent calendars that I got. Plus I have a bag of wax melts that I have been going through. I started over with those so these are what I've been melting from like December and January wise because I had bags from months back but it's been so long I am not going to be able to give you my honest opinion. So I'm going to start with um, this one and for you guys that are new here to my channel I am a lover of wax melts so I also post reviews and hauls on my channel too. So if you're new here, hey! Alright guys, so let's get into this review so I don't make this video super super long. So this is the one from BB's Candles. And it came in this cute little basket like this. And I'm just going to run through. Um, so this one was a wax melt and it says home for the holidays. Everything that I got did really well. This is another one, Christmas Splendor. I melted them in my room and my bathroom. They did really, really well. I'm just showing you the um, the scents. This one is Iced Cinnamon Roll. This one was called Frosty's Cake. And surprisingly, with this having zucchini bread in it, I really did enjoy it. This was really cute, almost like a scoopable, but it was like crumbles. I really, I enjoyed everything, to be honest with you. Um, then we have this soap. I didn't use the soap yet because it's melt and pour. And most melt and pour soap irritate me, so I do not use melt and pour. This was Strudel Spice. This was called Elf Juice. Um, this was called Home for the Holidays as well. This one was a bath soap. Um, and fizzy pop this one was wild berry cheesecake and this one was Santa baby and there was also uh -oh, a sugar scrub but I got it well you guys wet you guys can't see it but this bag of sugar scrub came with it and the sugar scrub was very moisturizing I really enjoyed it um, it left my skin feeling so soft and smooth and hydrated I wasn't dry or oily feeling afterwards I really really enjoyed it my overall thoughts for this sampler was I really enjoyed it I enjoyed how it came packaged in this cute little basket oh I almost forgot it also came with this right here which I have not sorry guys I have not melted these yet but it came with this on the 25th day these tea light candles and this tea light and it came with this breast bracelet bracelet that I wore on Christmas um, I really enjoyed how it was packaged I used pretty much everything in here but the soap so it was my 12 days of Christmas so I got use out of pretty much everything so now we're gonna go into our um, I count down to Christmas and this one was from Waxidents. This one also came with a scrub and it's from the her you can still get it at Waxidents candles. It's um the Naked Dino. And it came with the scrub. I have used it twice. It's like an emulsified scrub, so it almost feels like you put lotion on once you get out the shower and you don't need to. I really really enjoyed that. And she also had a lotion. Um, I think this, the, the line is the Naked Dino. And this one was French Vanilla Oak. This one smelled so smoky and good. And I really enjoyed this one as well. Now let's get into these wax melts. Listen. Every day was a good day. I think it's only one in here that I did not melt. And that is because I couldn't do it. It was not in my... Um, this one here it was two bakery and it was wood fire bakery and this was 15 days before christmas it was too it was just too much for me i couldn't do it <laughs> 
So I'm just going to set that to a side. Maybe a friend or someone would like to try her wax. They could get it, but I, I could not do it. All right, so um, we had Arctic Night. This one was so good. Like every one of these, I thoroughly enjoyed every one of them. Even if it was bakery, I still, you know, enjoyed it. Except that one, I couldn't do it. Oh, my but these smelled so good. So we got Arctic Night. Um, we have Jack Frost. I'm just going through and showing you guys um, the scents. We got Hansel and Gretel's. That was like a bakery scent, but it wasn't too bad for me. We have Berries and Pine. Holiday Sparkle. This one was really good. The peaches and the grapefruit. Then we have Extreme Christmas Cookie. Vanilla Bean Noel. We had candy cane extra. This one was really good. I didn't get any of the coconut, but that candy cane, that came through. Snowman balls. This one was good as well. Tiffany's Christmas cookies. I have a dinosaur sleigh ride. This one was really nice too with that cranberry and that pine. Then I have tree skirt. I love Christmas tree blends, so I really, really enjoyed this one as well. Some of them I forgot to take out of these little things, so I'm going to try to do that really quick. Winter type. Um, I just want to give you guys an idea of the scents that we got. Um, sweater weather. I love sweater weather. And we got Colorado Christmas. Crackling firewood. That one was really nice as well. And this one is Snow Queen. Uh oh. Sorry. Alright, we have flannel type. Oh, my back hurts. I'm trying to stand up here and do this really quick. Um, we have Christmas Wish type. Now this one was a countdown to Christmas, so it was 25 days of wax melts. This was Gretel's Morning Cup. Oh, Lord. I'm making a... <gasps> oh, camera was going to go down. Ugh. I got to fix it. Hold on, guys. This one was Balsam and Cedar. Absolutely loved that one. And give me a second. I am going to fix this camera. And this one's Colorado Dreaming. So good. So overall, my thoughts on Waxidents was I always enjoy her racks. I thoroughly enjoyed this. Everything through smelled up the room. I really, really enjoyed them. I loved having a little bit of variety. You had a lotion, a scrub in there as well. There were a variety of scents. You got some fruity, some manly some bakery so it was something that everyone could enjoy i really really enjoyed it and the price point on both of these were really reasonable and really nice so i really really enjoyed these now i'm going to go get my regular wax melts that i've been melting and give you guys my reviews all right guys so i'm back i'm sorry for the angle it's can you guys see i don't know this angle is really crazy okay hold on let me try to fix it again Alright, so I guess I'm going to try to have to do this one-handed and hold this stand. It's on this last leg. Alright, so here we have Snow Fairy from Wax Fear. Sorry, I cannot pronounce that. Um, this is a Lush it's Snow Fairy. Um, it's a Lush dupe. I thoroughly enjoyed this. This is one of, my, um, one of my favorite scents. I really, really, really enjoyed this. This smelled really good. Like right now, even though the camera's here and my nose is up here, you can still smell this. It's so good. Um, I've also been melting some candles. Um, I did Tis the Season way after Christmas, but it's a Bath and Body Works candle, and I sure did melt it because it smelled so good. I melt this in the front of my house. When I do that, I cut off my warmers this up front and even in my room because it lights up the whole house. Love me a good Bath and Body Works candle. Next is um, Blue Alien. From Waxidents, it's Blue Sugar Type and Alien. Um, this was so good. This is actually still in my warmers from two, three days ago. It smells so, so good. Next, we have Sugared Blueberry from True Obsession Wax Smelts. 
This one smells like just sweet blueberries. I tried to try to empty some of my clams. This is from Zeep. Oh my lord, my bag is tumbled over. Okay, this is from Zeep. Sorry. This is Push Pop and it is orange, creamsicle, and fruity pebbles. This smells like straight fruit cereal. It smells so good. I'm sorry, guys. Phew. I'm trying to get through this really fast. Um, this is from Waxidents as well. It's Tiffany's Red Dinosaur. This was freaking amazing. Like, I'm not a bakery girl, but that was everything. This is Gilligan's Eyelash from Vintage Chic Scents. That one was so good, too. Like, I was just, oh my goodness. This is Winter Wonderland. I'm not sure what company this is by. This was sent to me. That might be the name Simo. I melted that in the front of the house, and I really can't give you any results on that one because I didn't um, get to smell it. This one was from Made to Melt, and it is Perfume the Amour. Really, really enjoyed that. Um, I love her wax melts as well. This is from Sweet Sensations. Oh, it's upside down. It's Christmas morning. This I put in the front of the house. Oh my gosh, guys. Sorry if the camera's moving. That's because I'm trying to hold it and my back hurts. But that one smelled so good. It was bakery, but it filled the entire house. This is from Southern Sisters Wax and it's Jax Teller. I am so happy that they are opening back up because, baby, this is from almost two, three years ago. And I just melted the last bit of it um, maybe a couple weeks ago. And it is a manly scent and it filled the room. It was so good. Next is Kushner's Creations Becky. This was from her Roseanne's sampler. It smelled really, really well as well. This is Wiki Wiki Wax, um, Crazy on You. Once again, I melted that in the front of the house. Some of the ones I melted in the front of the house, if they don't like, bam, hit me in my face, then I really can't give you an honest review. Not, well, that is an honest review. I can't really tell you if it smelled good or not. On cold, it smelled really nice. Um, this is made to melt. This is Love and Pearls. This was a soft scent, but um, it was still pretty good. This is from the Milk and Cookie Candle Company. This was Blue Hawaiian. This was a really fruity scent. I really enjoyed that one as well. Uh oh, what is this? Um, this is Black Pepper Bergamot. I think this candle was too small to give me any kind of scent throw because I didn't smell anything when I burnt that one. I put that in the front of my house as well. This is Waxidents Fresh Cut Grass. Love it. That was Fresh Cut Grass and Love Spell. That is a good behind combo. Um, this is Creative Enchantment Berry Blast. This was very nice. Gave you a nice berry tart scent. This was Mahogany Teakwood. Um, this is also from White Barn. Same thing. I don't know. I put it in the front of the house. Didn't get anything. This is Surfer Girl. Surfer Girl from Vintage Chic Scents. That one was pretty good as well. What is this one? Oh, Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. Now, this one I burned in the front of the house. And, bay, bay, that was a good tropical scent. This one is Berry Cream Brulee Vanilla Bean by Waxidents. That one is so good as well. This is Wonderberry um, Volcano Soda. This one was pretty good. I mostly got the soda scent. I didn't get any volcano, but it still smelled really good. This one was Wonderberry Smeltering Smoothie, Sweltering Smoothie. I did not like this one. It did light up the room, but I did not think the peaches and the lollipops and the fresh cut grass went together. I didn't care for the blend. And let's pull out a couple more. And we'll go over. Um, this is another one from Zeep. This is Yuzu and Shaving Cream. This one smelled really good. I need to order some more from her. I haven't ordered in a while. And then this one is BB Melts Avo Bath Mac Apple Fizzy. And that one did really well. Is good. Really good as well. All right, guys, that's it. Um, hope you check some of these vendors out. Hope you enjoyed my reviews. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.